We're now going to take a closer look at the expansion slots which were revealed when we dismantled the PC originally. There are eight slots in all, four dark brown ISA slots, and four light PCI slots, which are shorter. Now we're going to insert a couple of expansion cards, an ISA card and a PCI card. We start with an ISA card. Take a look at the electrical contacts on the edge connector at the bottom. You can see that this card is a serial card. It has a DB25 and a DB9 connector. To insert the card, we position it carefully over the slot and then ease it firmly but gently into position. The next card we insert is a PCI card. As you can see, it's a graphics adapter card and it has a 15-pin connector at the back. Again, we position it carefully over the slot and then ease it gently but firmly into place. Once the cards are in place, it's necessary to secure them. On an older system like the one that we're using, this usually involves screwing them onto the chassis. On newer systems, cards are often held in place by easily removable clips. Finally, always observe ESD and safety precautions whenever you're changing expansion cards. And remember, they're not hot swappable. PC needs to be turned off before you start. In this practical, we've seen how to insert and remove different types of expansion cards. This is probably one of the more frequent tasks you'll be carrying out as part of hardware maintenance.